So I'm here in the Pendleton neighborhood of Cincinnati, Ohio. And anyhow, before I get into this, let me tell you, a lot of people don't know how Cincinnati got its name. It was actually named after a guy named Lucius Quincius Cincinnatus. And there's statues all around the town. Well, these three buddies come together and say, we're gonna open a barbecue joint. What should we call it? Hmm, oh, I got it for you. This is Lucius Q. Selling one pound brisket, table four. Chef Tom's barbecue is the best in the city. They have all of your standard meats, but then they have a lot of creativity with sandwiches, flatbreads. Fuego, six dry rub, wings. This is the spot. And it's the team of Jeff Keat, Aaron Sharp, and Shane Spears who started this scene with Chef Tom Martin mining the pit. It's you and two other buddies. Yep. Tom, you're the chef. Yes, sir. How do you learn barbecue in Cincinnati? Well, we call it Cincinnati barbecue. I take a little bit from the regions of everywhere. I dig it. Barbecue three-way. The barbecue three-way is a chili, but it's brisket made. It's a play on the Cincinnati chili, which we're famous for in this area. The cheese and the spaghetti, absolutely amazing. All right, what are we getting into? Make our wet rub for our brisket, mustard, horseradish, apple cider vinegar. Wet rub and then a dry rub of just salt and pepper. You got it. Let it hang out room temp for a little bit. Then it'll go on a smoker anywhere 12 to 14. 225, 235. Pull it, dice it, and it goes into the chili. Let's see it. Salad oil, peppers and onions, chili powder, sugar, paprika, dry mustard, granulated garlic, cumin, <whistles> black pepper, oregano, coriander. Kiss the cayenne. Tomato paste. Let it go for about 30 minutes on a low heat. Chicken stock, black beans, diced tomatoes, marinara. The brisket, and then a little bay leaf. Simmer for about two hours. How many gallons of this are we going through in a week? 10. And football season? 15. <laughs> what makes it three-way? Three-way in Cincinnati is spaghetti, chili, cheese. All right, let's see it, boss. Spaghetti here, brisket, chili. Now we got two ways. You're packing it like Noah's Ark right now, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Just a little cheddar. We have a plating issue. Right now, you're, you're, I'm going to be putting it all over the table. Well, we're not fine dining. Can I have my onions? You sure can. Are you twirling? We can't have that here. Cut, shovel. We cut the pasta? Bite-sized portion. I don't even know that I know how to cut pasta. There you go. That's beautiful. Oh, gosh, it feels terrible. Probably just supposed to bite it off and let it fall on the plate, too. Yeah. When I eat chili now, secretively, I long for the pasta in it. A little bit of smokiness from the brisket, not too much tomato, not too much bean. There's a great amount of cheese in it. There's something about it that is just natural, like it needs to be. That's good eat. Barbecue three-way. The cheddar cheese is so sharp and wonderful. The brisket and the tangy sauce bams right on the spot. You can't stop eating it. It feels like comfort. And you twirl? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> no twirl on the pasta. We have the ribs and the turkey. Not only are they serving up good food, they are serving up good vibes. I hear you work for the Reds. I have been their DJ for many, many years. And how far are we from the stadium? 12 blocks. So this is the perfect place to come get some Q and some brew and then walk your way with your family yes, down to the game. Yes, yes. It's easy to get to. The food is always great. I mean, it's incredible here. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we're going to make Pendleton Porker. Once you eat that, man, you want to just go lay down. Waddle down the street with that one. You're in charge. I know that no, you're no, probably he's in charge. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Hope he's I, yeah, I just got <laughs> You I see go, this? I gotta go home, This man. is the way things work down here. Welcome back. Triple D hanging out right down the street from the big stadium in Cincinnati. He's been watching me eat pasta with chili on it and not cutting it. Tom cut it for me like I was a little kid. Yes, Tom, cut it. There you go. Half pound of turkey. Whether it's the brisket, the ribs, turkey, it's just amazing. Plate and the porker. The Pendleton porker is piled full of meat and cheese with pork belly and gold barbecue sauce. So it's a great combination. So we're going to start with our pork butt. Salt, black pepper, garlic, chili powder, granulated onion, white pepper, dry mustard, cumin, paprika, and a little celery seed. Got it. The same wet rub. Dry rub, and then go to the smoker at 8 to 12? Correct. Now we're going to make the rub for our pork belly. Granulated garlic, paprika, salt, pepper, granulated onion, chili powder, lemon pepper, mustard, thyme, cumin, ancho chili powder, finish Ancho off. worried that was too much? I think it's just right. Ancho. And light brown sugar, OK. Dry rub onto the pork belly. Yes, sir. And this is going to go for how long? About an hour. What's up next? We got our bacon onion jam. Bacon, red onion, brown sugar, 
Balsamic vinegar, a little water, salt. That's all she wrote. And what's our final step? Our Carolina Gold barbecue sauce to drizzle right on top of the sandwich. Very nice. We're going to start with butter, yellow onion, minced garlic, salt, pepper, cumin. Ancho doing that again. Ancho I am. ACV, more butter, brown sugar. And then the mustard. Let that cook down. Strain out the onions and garlic. And then we're good to go. Yes, sir. All right, Chef, let's see it. First thing we do is melt smoked cheddar on top of our pork belly. Take our toasted bun. We'll put that beautiful bacon onion jam down on the bottom. Shred our pork to order Carolina gold barbecue sauce. Top it with the pork belly on there with our house smoked cheddar. And then we so the only it. vegetal factor that we're having here is the fact that there was once an onion and some garlic in that that you strained uh, out. Yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. <laughs> It's dynamite. Smoky bacon, tender pork, and I love the bacon jam. The sweetness you get from that. But bro, you could just pour the sauce on the napkin, and wad it up. <laughs> I was joking saying there's no vegetal factor to it. I'm glad that you don't. I'm glad there's no pickle in it. You don't need it. You don't Typically that you have that pickle or something in there is you need that acidic relief. But in this right here with all that flavor coming through that mustard, you're setting it up to win. Delicious sandwich. The Pendleton porker. You've got like these crispy bits of pork, and then the tartness of the mustard really helps the sweetness of the jam. Come on, get in after that. Release the neck, pop the jaw. There you go. Look at that power bite. This is Chef Christian Gill. How many times were you on Guys Grocery Games? Five, six. This is a destination when you come to Cincinnati. 100%. I got a full slab, going solo. The people are friendly, the hospitality is on point. It's a great addition to our neighborhood. You really take a lot of pride, and I've been to barbecue for a long time, and everything you talk about and the way that you engage it, I love it, dude. Great.